Travis Wayne Goodsell. For some reason, my body just said, get up. At 1.15ish. It wasn't to go to the bathroom. It was just, get up. We're ready to get up. Get up, get up. And I stayed up to finish the video yes, last night. So, oh well. Star Watch for uh, this week. <coughs> the moon this morning, as I went running early, is uh, behind uh, the mist of darkness, <laughs> covering up the tree of life. But uh, the moon is at the top of the Club of Orion. And uh, that's significant because it means there's a message. And it's a religious message because the moon, for the left eye, refers to religion. The sun is the right eye for government. And uh, it'll be a full moon. So that even is more significant as... Uh, It's uh, indicating a an, an, an anointing, a crowning, an overcoming, a conquering as part of the message. Uh, the uh, full moon will be at uh, the crotch of Gemini. Gemini is the twins. And if you know your Bible stories, there's uh, some stories about how the birthright blessing son gets his birthright blessing usurped by the brother. And in several cases, there's a twin brother involved. So now we have a better understanding that the full moon is uh, in Gemini with the message today indicates a usurping of the religion which yes sounds awesome to me <laughs> as the religion we all know and, and love and cherish is the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints so finally hopefully well this is what it means in the stars and you know if God wrote the text of the stars it has to be fulfilled so, yes, the church has to fall. That's what it means. So there's no other interpretation. We can't impose our own interpretation. It ha It is what it is. <laughs> so. Alright, so let's get to others that are in the sky right now. Jupiter, if you're familiar with the uh, uh, 21st, last week. Jupiter and Saturn uh, were together again since 1623, I believe I've calculated. Uh, only the Deseret News got it right. <laughs> Which, what? Why are they getting it right? Why are the other news sources saying, Oh, it's 800 years since it last happened. <laughs> uh so why are, I don't understand the desert news. Why did they get it right for us once? The prophets don't care about the signs in the heavens. They don't care that there's a second coming going on. <laughs> they don't believe it. <laughs> why is the desert news concerned? <sighs> so yeah, Jupiter is now moving on past Saturn. And so... Uh, Again, here's another uh, supplanting, replacing, uh, conquering, uh, passing uh, as Jupiter passes Saturn finally. Uh, and so, uh, yes, it is before the mouth of the goat beast, which again, it's a religion that we're talking about, so it's the great and abominable church. Uh, and Jupiter is 
the man-child of Revelation. That's the uh, child that was born of the virgin. And so Saturn is the father. And so the father becomes the son, son becomes the father. <coughs> As uh, Jupiter now takes over the great and abominable church. So again, confirmation of the sign. And there you are. Venus, representing the Mormons, members of the church of the inverted pentagram. The great and abominable church because Lucifer the light bearer is uh, referred to as the morning star which is Venus so Venus has previously uh, been judged in the scales of Libra and failed at the star Akrab which represents in Arabic the uh, tree of knowledge of good and evil and so yes the woman fell having partaken of the fruit without Heavenly Father uh, or uh, anybody else accompanying her she did it by herself so thus she's a naughty girl <laughs> but with this sign tomorrow she is with Ophiuchus the throne of God and, uh, and so, with the change of, of authority, the church being conquered, and uh, new leadership taking over, the Mormons now have a new king of kings, lord of lords. So that's, that's the symbol. Uh, Mercury... That's Trump. That's the government. He's with the sun. He's on Sagittarius as he's attacking the United States. So that's how that's working for right now. Uh, and so Mercury moves on. And uh, just in time for the vote for Biden on the 6th of uh, January. As he will be in conjunction with uh, uh, Jupiter and Saturn. By the tenth, so yeah, change in government. Interpreting signs in the heavens easy when you know how it's done. Alrighty.